All right, getting ready to reinstall the lithium iron phosphate battery. This is in the back left-hand corner of the trail manor. I have got uh, my ground here. This is the positive, and both of those go directly to the power center in the camper. This is where my uh, inverter plugs in, and then that's the remote for the inverter. So let's start stacking it up. Okay, I've got the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery dropped in its casement. And this has already been used for about 15,000 miles and it held up well. I had to take everything out to get into this service panel so that I could replace a, uh, a shower faucet. So now putting everything back together. On top of this will be another protective layer and then there will be uh, the inverter that sits on top of that 2400 watt inverter. So just about complete with everything here. So that's the battery that is sitting there. And I'll move back that away. You can see the top of the battery, the orange part. And then there's another panel and the inverter is on top of that. Uh, cooling fins exposed on each side. Everything plugs in up on this end. And then this strap, which goes around some metal brackets at the bottom, holds everything tight. Like I say, this has already worked well for 15,000 miles and uh, was pretty easy to get out, pretty easy to put back in. But this is a 60 amp breaker and it's a resettable breaker and that goes from the positive leg of the battery and comes down here to a master cutoff switch and I could also use the fuse as well because you can trip it but then the, the hot lead leaves here and goes to the uh, power center where your fuses and breakers and everything's at and the ground wire for the battery <coughs> excuse me which you can't see uh, it actually uh, goes down and goes to the power center as well so we got everything back together this system has worked out extremely well for us